Hello, Jim. What are you doing here? I'm home. This is my apartment. Our apartment. You never asked me to return the key. You have three seconds to leave before I call the police. One, One step ahead of you. I know you killed Tai Wong. How do you know about that? An alley is not the smartest place to leave a dead body, Jim. Everyone already knows about it, and it's only a matter of time before they discover that you were behind it. What do you want from me? Why did you come back? I want to know why. Tai Wong did nothing to you, so why did you kill him? Take a seat, Jim. Sit the fuck down and tell me everything or I swear I'll turn you in. Damn you, Kate. I'm waiting. <sighs> he did not deserve to live. Speak up! I said he did not deserve to live! <clears throat> Why did you kill him? He's a stalker. All along you did the devil's work for him behind my back. I don't trust you anymore. Your lack of honesty ruined our relationship. You kicked me out of my own home, you killed my best friend, and you left me on the streets with nothing. But worst of all, I did love you. Despite my original intentions, I fell for you. But your paranoia is the true cause of our ruined relationship. Lovers do not keep secrets. Who's Tai Wong? How do you know him? No, you answer my question first or you're going to jail. I just told you. He stalked me. He invaded my privacy. And you were on his side all along. Not good enough, damn it! It is to me. <gasps> Want to know how he died? He was on the ground, helpless, begging me to stop. I smashed his head with a rock. There was blood everywhere. I left the alley to clean my hands from his filth. And when I returned, there was a stranger calling the police. I killed him too. Did you smash the stranger's head with a rock? No. I used voodoo to control Ty's dead body to choke the stranger to death. I didn't want to get my hands dirty again. Why didn't you just use a gun or a knife? That's what most murderers use, Jim. Well, you see, Kate, I'm not like most murderers. I'm different. You're right. You are different. You see the world differently than all those around you. That's why I got attracted to you in the first place. But that's also why I give up on you. The way you deal with your problems has become your own undoing. You don't understand me. Nobody does. I have no friends left to turn to, Kate. I've lost everything. But today, I have finally taken revenge on the one responsible. He deserved to die slowly. Guns and knives are too quick. But you said you killed the stranger slowly too. He did not deserve such a fate even based on your level of reasoning. He was working against me. That's enough of a reason. <sighs> tai Wong was your godfather. What? He was your parents' friend and in both of their wills. It was said that he was supposed to take care of you. Th then why didn't he just approach me himself? Why did you approach me instead? You're such a liar. You know me, Jim. I don't lie. Ty was my closest friend and he needed time to get to know you through me. When the time was right, he was going to approach you. But now that will never happen and you can thank yourself for that. <gasps> what have I done? <laughs> Let me take care of that. Every day, when I look out my window, I see her. Usually she's with her boyfriend. Every time I see them together, I can't help but think of us, how things used to be. 
when she is alone, I can't help but think of you. I'm going to kill her and save her boyfriend from the monster she will become. And you will not stop me because you will be dead. I hate you, I hate her, and I hate women! What do you want from us? I have some unfinished business. It requires two wingmen. I'll pay you both in full once the job is done. How much we talking? Hundred each. Let me get this straight. You come to my part of town and ask for two of my men for a hundred apiece? You got a problem with that? Who do you think we are? We're the baddest motherfuckers around. Kill. What's going on, man? Just shut up and listen. Your job is to remove the boyfriend from the pool and hold him back while I kill his girlfriend. Do not kill him. But what boyfriend? What pool? Every day at this time, the two of them are there. The girlfriend keeps trying to teach her boyfriend how to swim, but keeps failing. We are going to break in and stop them. Do you even know these people? I've killed many strangers before, but never have been asked to kill without a reason. This doesn't feel right. There's always a reason, and it never feels right. Follow me. 